hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion related to sensors transducers and instrumentation so in this video we are going to discuss about torque measurement with the help of piezoelectric transducer now uh, previously we have discussed some uh, sensors and transducers for torque measurement here we'll discuss the piezoelectric method so we all know torque basically is the twisting or turning effect of a force and it is defined as the product of the force applied perpendicular at a point which is at a distance r away from the axis of rotation t is equal to f and r which produces a turning effect here we are going to use the piezoelectric transducers to measure torque now we all know piezoelectric materials they operate on the principle of piezoelectric effect that is when uh, across the two ends of the piezoelectric crystal a force is applied it generates an electric potential because of deformation of the crystal molecules okay that so this electric potential is directly related to the applied force and hence as it is direct, directly proportional to the applied force it is also directly related to torque because torque basically is force multiplied with the perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation from the point of application of the force the basic setup of piezoelectric torque transducer is something like this so here the piezoelectric crystal is connected in between the source of torque and uh, you know a platform so this point is connected to the source of torque which produces a twisting force or turning force causing the piezoelectric material to rotate in a particular direction as a result of which force or uh, stress is applied on the piezoelectric crystal it undergoes deformation and it generates an electric potential that electric potential is given as per this relationship v is equal to gt f by a where g is the voltage sensitivity of the piezoelectric transducer t is the thickness of the piezoelectric crystal then we have f and a okay where f is the force that is applied and a is the area of the crystal and we know that torque is equal to force into perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation so here the distance from this twisting force away and towards like that upwards and downwards that is r so here we can replace this f as t by r so we get a direct relationship between the voltage and the torque okay so depending upon our requirements we can use different types of piezoelectric crystal materials such as quartz tourmaline rochel salt lithium sulfate dipotassium tartrate so this constructional setup of the piezoelectric torque transducer it is uh, uh, it basically it uses the rochel salt uh, for uh, now as the piezoelectric crystal element so as a result of this the sensitivity of this piezoelectric torque transducer it is very high now uh, this piezoelectric transducer it has very good advantages one of the advantages that the sensitivity is high and uh, other is that it has very good accuracy then it has very good frequency response but it has certain disadvantages also one of the most important disadvantage is that the cost of the piezoelectric sensor fabrication it is very high also 
because of the application of even small amount of twisting force or stress the piezoelectric crystal can undergo damage very easily and also it is sensitive to environmental temperature variations temperature fluctuations and as a result of that the electric potential is dependent on that temperature and that can cause error that can lead to calculation errors so apart from that we have to uh, uh, design the piezoelectric transducer to counter those effects and it can be used for measurement of torque so whenever there is a turning or twisting force causing uh, it to rotate it generates an electric potential which can be taken by connecting two wires or electrodes across the two ends of the crystal then it can be which generates the electric potential then it can be fed to further, uh, further signal conditioning circuitry for amplification filtering noise cancellation frequency response matching linearization then analog to digital conversion can be done through sampling quantization and encoding process and then we'll get a direct digital readout so this is the basic principle of torque measurement with the help of piezoelectric crystal elements or piezoelectric transducers okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much